Hey everybody, this is Dragon Knight Rage bringing you another episode of Minecraft Sprout. This is episode number six. We are here um, in this foresty area. Uh, it's a rooted forest M, I believe. Um, I found this pretty tall mountain that I like, and I kind of want to build a base here. Um, it's going to be more of a permanent base. It's not going to be 100%. Um, I'm sure I'll probably as we explore further, I will move, you know, in the future. But for now, it's going to be pretty much um, where we're going to live. So I have cleared out some of this place and I have found a nice little place to get started. I kind of want to do an in mountain style base and kind of reform this whole mountain into like a base style area. Uh, where'd he go? Trying to do an intro here. And you are right there. Come on. Come at me, bro. You're ruining my intro. Coming at me. Hiding under that tree. Darn skeleton. Anyways, wherever I left off. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to reform this mountain and kind of make it into a, a base, you know, going up. Having some like, I don't know, kind of like cliff dwellers and stuff. You know, there's these little pathways that kind of lead up and maybe an interior inter... That, pfft, sorry, words are hard right now. Um, oh, hey, I got mail. 11 days ago. Read. Uh, it has come to our attention that you undertook a monster hunting contract from a certain armor by rights. He should have brought his request to us, so any reward should have come through our guild. However, we have chosen to overlook it, and in light of your exemplary performance completing his contract, we would like to formally invite you to join our guild. If you wish to accept, come speak with me at the guild. Attached is some heart crystal as a gesture of good faith. Alright, so we got some presents and a formal invitation to the Slayer's Guild, which is awesome. Sweet. So anyways, um, sorry, I got sidetracked there. So yeah, I kind of want to make this into a like little cliff dweller thing. This is going to be like the main starter place where we build and kind of reform it and make it look nice. Um, I found these awesome doors. Well, check these out, man. Three by three. Um, let's go here, and we're going to go doors. And it is from Big Doors, which I found to be pretty cool. So I created them, and... I, I kind of like it. I'm going to use these in a lot of the, my builds on this uh, mod pack. So anyways, um, I was thinking about taking maybe a pathway going up here, you know, kind of wrapping around up a little bit. I may be putting another place there, and we can have, like, different, you know, functions for it. Um, just different little holes around here. Or maybe I might just go through here and, you know kind of make all this, you know, combine and be able to go up to the different places. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is in this pack. Um, there are elevators. Hmm. There is elevators in this pack, so we might use that and just turn this mountain into like a little, you know, interior thing and have some like exterior balconies and stuff where you can see stuff but uh, that, that's kind of my plan first and foremost I need to move I've kind of gotten this system set up finally I do have myself an auto crafter here um, I can attach some pipes and stuff to pipe stuff in and get some you know crafting recipes done I have my whole module system set up again um, ready to go waiting to you know get whatever I need by the way, I do want to show you guys, I have a ridiculous amount 
of cooked fish fillets from that fishing thing that I've done. I mean, I've been constantly putting worms in it over and over, and I have like almost 2,000, 1,894 cooked fish fillets. That's not to count all the other fish that I still have that I could possibly cook and make into fish fillets. So, I mean, that if you guys are looking for easy, an easy uh, thing to, you know, get a food supply, I definitely suggest the uh, the fish, the fisherman thing, the net water strainer uh, mod pack. Look into that, and uh, that's definitely something to look into because I got a ridiculous amount from that. Um, anyways, so I'm just trying to go here and try and figure stuff out, place my my stuff down. Um, basically, what I've been doing so far. Uh, just to recap, we were, let's see, we are currently right here, okay? This is where we our new home is. In fact, I should probably make a waypoint for that. New, and we're going to go um, home. I'm going to save. So this one I can remove. Yes. Okay, so let's go back. Home there, and this home is no longer there. So as you can see, I didn't move that far away from this place, but it's kind of up around here. There is a dragon's nest around here somewhere. We do have this ocean biome here and this here. I just I found that mountain, and I thought, you know what? That would be a cool place to kind of build a, a mountain base, and that's kind of what I called it. I called it a mountain base. Um, so anyways, um, while I was out fighting, you know, in between episodes... I did find um, a dragon, and I had a bow and a bunch of arrows, and I was able to shoot him with the arrows from a distance. So while I get myself organized, I'm going to run a couple clips for you to show you what I've done um, in the past uh, between episodes, and um, I recorded a little bit just to show you guys. Um, anyways, so... Here's a couple clips. I'm going to get myself organized and get stuff set up. And I will be right back after those clips. So, this zombie came up to me when I was trying to tame a horse and put a saddle on it. And, uh, he thought it'd be cool and, uh, you know, kill me and all. So, I had to walk all the way back here. I'm way down here at this monastery. I was doing some work, you know, completing that uh, quest, the one you have to, the supply run quest. I came from all the way, uh, no, actually, I think I'm too far now. <laughs> um, where's my base? Uh, right here. So from here, or all the way down to here, I had to take a boat and walk and everything all the way down here. So, it was quite a journey. This dude killed me, and he's been dancing on my grave. Like, literally, he was jumping around as I was killing him. He stopped dancing at the moment. Uh, one more hit, and I will probably kill him. So, let's see. If I use that, yep. Not quite. Oh, see? There he goes again. Ah, uh, come on, lag. There we go. See? He's dancing on my grave. He's literally dancing on my grave. He thinks it's funny. Take that, sucker. That's what you get for dancing on my grave. Anyways, I was just uh, bringing you there, trying to show you uh, that crazy thing that happened. Zombies trying to dance on my grave and everything else. But, anyways. So, I think I found a good way to kill a dragon. Use a bow and arrow and stay far enough away from it while it's on the ground, and apparently it's not attacking me. Because it has killed me once, and almost killed me a second time, but I ran away and remembered I had a bow. Oh, come on now. I'm back here. I've been sitting here for a little bit. I got it down 89. So, we might be having our first uh, on-camera dragon kill. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I need to get a little bit closer. He's hiding from me. 
He must not want to die or something. I wish this bow was a lot more accurate, more powerful. Come on. What's he got left? 83? It's long range, it's not doing too much damage. Ah, he's running away. Come on, you. Come back here. Good thing about a bow and arrow. I did manage to kill one dragon. Um, he was stuck in a building. I don't know how he got there. It's probably how he spawned. Oh, he's taken off. Come on. Yeah, come this way. Sucker. Ah. Uh, I had a feeling he was going to do that. Come on. Does he see me? Anyways, yeah, so I killed a dragon. It was stuck in a building. And I was hoping to... I'm glad it didn't actually get me. So, let's see if I can manage to get this shot. Come on. I knew he was going to fly. There we go. One. Two. He's stuck on that tree. You killed me once, dragon. I'm gonna kill you. Come on. So yeah, this will be dragon number two. What is he at? Five? One more and I should be able to get him. Got him! That sucker is gone. We have killed our first, well, uh, on-camera dragon. So, let's, um, let's see, I think it's get an open hand. And right click. Maybe left click. Shift. Oh, shift right. I'm trying to figure out what it is to loot this sucker. Come on. I want your carcass and everything. All right, let's move this thing out of here. Let's see, do I need to be like right at the head of the body? Oh, there we go. Got him. Come on. I want the rest of your stuff. Sweet. Dragon hearts, dragon scales. And... Who bit me? Who's Bill's? Oh. Someone bit me. Oh, that bit me. Well, guess what? What? Wait. Won't let me get you. You bit me, and I want to take you out of your misery because you're a zombified person. Whatever. Um, let's check our spoils. So we got a fire dragon heart, fire dragon flesh, we got three emerald scales, dragon skull. It's not a whole lot of dragon scales. Um shouldn't there have been more? Let's see if there's any more here real quick. Ah, can't quite climb up that tree. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Jump. I can do this. Let's go this way. Here we go. Now, let's chop some of this tree down and see if maybe the dragon scales and the leaves or something. I don't know. Well, we didn't get a whole lot of scales. I got a few more scales from um, my other excursion, that other dragon that I killed, uh, which helped. But this is awesome, guys. Got my first little uh, dragon kill. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Um, so I've gotten a little bit of stuff set up here. Um, I put my uh, armor and stuff and shields and whatnot in here. And I do want that foot shield. Um, I have all my tools in here. A bunch of random stuff in there. I do need to get my Ars Magica thing set back up. 
in my bait pot eventually. Um, I got quite a bit. I don't really need to worry about that right now. <laughs> um, got all my potions and whatnot in here. Then I have my books there. There's nothing in there. And I got a bunch of stuff set up here. So this here is, I mean, the coal, I kind of messed up uh, when mining and uh, made like 255 bottles of the creosote oil, or yeah, from Railcraft. So what I thought I would do is I, I looked into it and found out that the survival generator um, I'm not sure which one's better though, because there's the survival generator and then there's the, um, let's see, let's go Creo, Creosote here, so let's right click that, and um, there's also the furnace generator for extra utilities, which, I mean, yeah, I need one of these, uh, I need more redstone, Really out of redstone? No. Just gotta make some redstone up here. Let's go eight. There. Okay. Should be good now. So if we go here, you can make and that's a culinary generator. Um, a furnace generator. The furnace generator is made with a machine block. Um, element four. All right, I can craft one now. So it gives me four machine blocks, and then so we're gonna go here and make one of those. Oh, awesome. So let's go ahead and let's break that real quick. Now let's toss this one down. I want to see. It's a furnace generator. It's 100,000 RF. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, I will need to make some speed upgrades. I do want this always on. And then I want a way to get this so I can just, you know, deposit items into it. It will, uh, you know, spit them out. I wouldn't mind making like a like a crafter where it crafts it. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I'm not sure exactly, but I bet you anything. If I go like this, I put this sucker down here. Yeah, I'll go there, and then let's go. One hopper, right, like that, and then, um, I know it's kind of a hopper system, it's kind of slow, but, do another hopper there, and then I want a chest, so then I'll just get a single chest here place that on here, and then I can just place all this yummy stuff right there, and I'll start going down and down, and I'll keep that thing full over time. So that was my basic plan there. Um, let's smelt some of that stuff up. I guess I could just go in here and go stone. I think I have some regular stone. Um, yeah, I do. Okay. So, yeah. I am going to keep these other generators here. Oops. One too many. I wish I could cover that up. But anyways, that's going to supply us with uh, quite a bit of stuff. And if I go here, I can make as much of this as I need. Let's just craft up everything I can until I can't craft no more. Uh, I think that's it for the creosote. Yep, that's it for the creosote. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Alright, so, 
I can use up all this creosote stuff, which I'm not sure if this works a lot better or not. Um, but I do want to do an upgrade for that little system I have down there. Um, which is going to require me to get a speed upgrade. So we're going to go here, we're going to go speed upgrades. Okay, I need, uh, let's go to here, speed upgrade, let's go there. I need both a redstone, block of redstone, and redstone, redstone, redstone. Oh man, I am low on redstone, I'm crazy, man. All right. So... I will just have to make one block of redstone. Okay. And I need one of those, and I need a resonator. Alright. Can I make one of those? What am I missing? Oh, yeah, I can make a resonator. Awesome. So, the resonator is probably going to need power, I bet you anything. Um, what did I do with those cinder IO conduits? Ah, did I put them in here? I did. That is redstone energy. Awesome. So let's go. Let's go here and then there. Um, hold on. Now you got a wrench. I need my get a wrench. So. Oh, let's put the resonator on top of that. Ah, oh, that takes grid power. Shoot. Um, hold on, what did this take? Weighted pressure plate. Light. Two gold ingots. Okay, that's not hard. That, I think I can do. Yeah, I can make one of those. That's not a big deal. The big deal for this is I need 8 GP for grid power. So if I've done my research right, um, hold on. Resonator right here. That's for extra utilities. So we can go at EXT. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um, I want to do, um, we're going to want to do a, and it's spike would be nice. I need GP, so how do you get GP? Trying to figure out how to get GP. I know there's something. Um, no. Let's go grid. I. Grid power. What was it called? Um, what was it called? Shoot. It was like. Um, you know, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. I know I've seen other. Other people do it all the time. I see them use them, but I forget exactly what they're called. The grid power, the water. Um, let's type in W A T. Watt. You know what? I think I'm out of time for this episode, guys. I do appreciate you watching it. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you guys want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I will definitely be getting more videos out to you. I do appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you later.